Welcome back. Today we're making these absolutely delicious pumpkin pie cinnamon rolls. We're going to start by adding our flour into a large bowl or the bowl of our mixer and adding in our instant yeast and our salt. We're going to whisk this together and then add together our wet ingredients, which includes whole milk, pumpkin puree, unsalted butter, and a bit of sugar. We're going to pop that in the microwave until our butter is melted and the mixture is warm but not hot to the touch. We're going to whisk that together and then pour it into our dry ingredients. We're going to turn this on low at first and then slowly increase the speed until a kind of sticky dough ball forms. It takes a little bit of time to incorporate all the flour, but it'll come together eventually, I promise. Once you reach this stage, you're going to whisk together your egg just to make it easier to incorporate, then pour it into your bowl and mix it together until it also is combined. It kind of becomes a sloppy mess at first, but give it a little time and eventually the egg will really work into the dough and become kind of elastic just like this. When you reach this stage and it's still sticking to the sides of your bowl, you're going to start adding in just a tiny bit more flour, one tablespoon at a time. The amount of additional flour you have to add in can vary, but you just want to add a little bit at a time and mix just until the dough starts to pull away from the sides of the bowl like this. It's okay if it's still a little sticky at the bottom, but in general your dough should feel tacky but not sticky, so it shouldn't leave behind any residue on your finger. And when you reach this stage, you are ready to rest your dough a little bit. I like to clean up the sides of the bowl and just kind of like almost I call it like lazy shaping of the dough. Then we're going to cover and let it rest to allow our gluten to relax and make it easier to roll our dough out. So after about 15 minutes of letting that sit, I flour my counter and my dough. And then I like to actually just knead it a little bit to make sure that the texture feels right and that it's going to roll out just fine. And if you're able to knead it like this, you also know your dough isn't too sticky and it's not going to stick to your counter as you roll it out and fill it. So you can see here my dough looks really smooth and it's tacky but not sticky, so I know that I'm ready to roll it out. Now rolling out your dough takes a bit of time, so you want to be patient as you do this and just try to roll in both directions. You want to end up with a rectangle that's about 18 inches by 14 inches long. Yes, I literally use a ruler as I'm rolling it out to make sure that I, it's large enough. And you also just want to make sure that your dough is an even thickness. You don't want too much dough kind of stuck in the center and you want to make sure your edges aren't too thin. It should be about a half a centimeter thick once you're done rolling it out. I also like to clean up my edges just to make the cinnamon rolls look a little bit sharper once they're all rolled and cut. And once I reach this stage, it's time to add on our unsalted butter. So I spread that out of my dough, it's room temperature butter, and then I'm adding on my pumpkin puree. And this part looks kind of creepy, but you're basically just making pumpkin butter. Then we're going to work on our cinnamon roll filling, which includes light brown sugar, cornstarch to help keep everything together, all of our warm spices, and a little bit of salt. We're going to whisk this together and then pour it over our pumpkin buttered dough. I just poured it straight out of the container that I was using, but I do recommend using a spoon just so you get a nice even layer, because that's the most important part. You want every bite to have all of those delicious warm spices in it. Then it's time to roll up our dough, and as you do this, just take your time and work from one side to another. The hardest part is just getting started, and as you start to move along further up the roll, I promise it gets easier. Once you get to the top part of your dough, you're going to add a little bit of water to that one inch section that you didn't add filling to to just help your cinnamon roll seal up nice and tight. This also makes them easier to cut. I like to use just a little butter knife to divide the dough first into halves, then fours, and then into 12 equal pieces. This is so helpful so that way your cinnamon rolls end up about or roughly the same height and it helps them bake up more evenly too. I love using dental floss to cut my cinnamon rolls. I swear by it. I use it every time. Look how nice and clean that cut is. And then we're placing these in our greased 9 by 13 inch pan and we let them proof for about 30 minutes then bake them for 26 to 32 minutes in a preheated 350 degree oven. While the cinnamon rolls bake and cool, we're going to work on our vanilla glaze. This is really just butter, vanilla, salt, powdered sugar, and a little bit of milk. You just want to whisk it until it's smooth and then once your cinnamon rolls have cooled off just for a little bit, I'd say 5 to 10 minutes, they're still warm but they're not super hot. That is the very best time to pour your glaze, that way it kind of melts into them and is nice and ooey and gooey but it's not completely like dissolving into the cinnamon roll. So if you have the patience, try to wait just a few minutes before pouring it. Then it's time to cut in and enjoy these absolutely delicious pumpkin cinnamon rolls. They seriously bake up so soft and fluffy. They're absolutely delicious. The recipe is up on chillsweets.com if you want to make them, and I'll include the link in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and until next time, happy baking!